Hello again, everyone. This is Game Collector here, and this week, as mentioned before, I have a Gundam. Well, not really a Gundam, but a Gundam model kit. The 1 slash 144 RGM 79 FP or RGM Striker. I'm sorry. Thought that would actually help. It did not. Yeah, I put this bad boy together in a single afternoon. And I even did the panel lines with the pen marker. And yes, I did also attach the dark matter booster from a previous video to him. He's wearing the adapter packs right now, well, most of them. Just removed one of them. And I actually had to separate the waist and add two plugs to the backpack right there. This is the beam lance and the spiked shield, which extends outward. His head is on a ball joint, arms are on universal joints, hinges, or, uh, yeah, universals, because, uh, they can go all around and come in and out, and I really can't demonstrate that too well, because as a model, I really don't want to pose it too much and show it off. Well, I do want to show it off, just not the way I would an action figure. Like, you can tell that the elbow is there. It's double-jointed. And he also comes with, um... Gun hand. Extended trigger finger. And... That can fold out, but it doesn't really do very much. And, uh, obligatory... I have fingers hand, waving hand. Hello. Well, why not? Whoops, as it goes falling into the depths of off camera. Well, try to do at least one decent pose. That looks pretty good. As for the knees, most of the all, the only paint that I used was a black uh, Gundam marker. This one, the uh, fine tip marking pen. Wow, this is probably going to be a really short video, unless I can think of more to tell you about. Um, the beam, sa <coughs> beam saber, which, you know, he had the appropriate hand for it, but I removed... Oh, dear. Well, it's a model kit, and that's kind of why I really didn't want to uh, show off too much. The arm came off. saber handle. And... There is the saber. And... When the dark matter booster is attached, it really doesn't do anything. Like, 
literally it's just there for show and to be quite honest the tonfa blades that are the DMB's wings help it stand up without falling down even though it has a giant foot giant feet to help it do that already and let me move it forward a bit now I am no Gunpla or Gundam model expert I honestly if you remember the DMB video I haven't built one of these things since I was 12 so this is the first time I actually put off effort into it and I even used all the decals I've been using all the decals recently so you know there's that the ones that were particularly annoying were the ones on the knees because those had to be folded around and such so they'd cover the entire edge right here the mouthpiece is also a decal just use the spear here this that's a decal little red spot on his head decal abdomen decal these little yellow lines on both sides are also decals and while it can't be seen too clearly with the DMB attached just pull that off right there that was a difficult one and on the opposite side behind the shield was also a difficult decal now I do have a paint set and I haven't really worked up the courage to use it yet but it's there if I ever do feel the need there's also a little tiny there's a second antenna that I could have plugged in there that's colored black I can even get it out and it's missing yeah oh no found it and it's well it's I know where it is and it's safe but I can't really get to it right now which is unfortunate but a, uh, a it's effectively the same shade that the backpack is and the side of the shield only it's uh, it's an antenna that's pretty much it and remove the saber yep. put it in there and considering that these two were my first kits I actually did want to put them together And yes, it can use the Tonfa, but that would involve me having to take its arms apart. And I really don't, well, not arms so much as hands, but you'll see the Dark Matter Boosters Tonfa later in a different video. Later.